a bit shorter than about five lemon. Um, curly, dark hair, beautiful, tan skin, buxom. Uh, I just don't know. I don't know where to find her. But where is she? Keisha is awesome because she made this photo. I still don't know what I'm saying. I have to have a think to take out. I have to well, yeah, yeah. I was eating pizza in New York <laughs> two and a half weeks ago. And as I took my first bite, I thought, where the hell is Keisha? Where's my bite? And now I'm back in Melbourne. Where the hell is Keisha? I'm very disappointed I didn't get to see her. But I'll still vote for Keisha. Once upon a time, there were two ladies that went on a holiday to New Zealand. And on this particular holiday, they decided that they should free themselves by skinny dipping at sundown in the ocean. I vote for Kisha. <laughs> no, it's not stuck in, it's not good. Okay. Kisha sounds awesome, I'd vote for her. One of the ladies was a bit of a prude and wasn't so sure about skinny dipping, but the other, more liberated, it would be fine and there was nothing to fear. So they went in, careless abandoned, throwing their clothes out, running naked into the water and having a bit of a drink. I'd vote for Kisha. I'd vote for Kisha. I'd vote for Kisha. I love Kisha. I'd vote for Kisha. I'm the biggest fan. Romantic nights. Men. Oh, what would this bring? Basics man, trouble with Dan, records, dishes, kitchen, kitchen, Evelyn, the laughs. Alright, I've known Kisha since I was four, which is a hell of a long time now. Um, one of my most favourite memories of Kisha is when I first took her sailing and she spent the whole time like a human catapult bowling me off the side of the um, boat and that's why I would vote for Kisha because she rocks. It was only then that the young felt something sharp. Feeling fearful for her life, she looked at the other wise arm lady and asked, are you sure there's nothing in the water? The other replied, absolutely nothing in the water. I just remembered the other day actually a really funny photo I have of you, which is still one of my favourite photos of all time, of you in the kitchen at 299 Station Street with the big goggles on, cutting up garlic. <laughs> and it still cracks me up. <laughs> Blue skies, raindrops, gentle midnight kisses. We are just heading out now because we've heard word on the street that there's a Fijian Italian princess at the labour in vain, and that's where we're going right now to see if this story, in fact, is true. Stick with us, come, come back. Us on this journey. Blankets, sunsets, buildings, cold, cold ground. The younger one then felt another little steam, and when she looked down, I was terrified to see hundreds and thousands of crabs running along the water. Well, little did she know that it was peak hour on the crab highway. She looked up in fear as the other one looked down and saw the crabs and they ran screaming, food, throwing, swinging, running, fairly waddling out of the water. So, <laughs> this is why I would vote for Kisha. I'm in a picture frame. Let me just give you the context of the situation. Is it meant to be really quick? I'll just like, I'll make it pretty quick. At half a bottle of red, it was a 2004 Cab Merlot. It is Friday, the 23rd of December, 2011. I'm sitting in my backyard in Abbotsford. It's Christmas, we've just started celebrating Christmas with Nat, who's behind the camera, and Paul in there, and Sean. That's the context. This is why I'd vote for Kisha, because no one else really quite understands the um, wine consumption slash dancing to inappropriate music, usually 80s Lionel Richie type wrongness, yet also 
very cool name dropping sometimes I don't know who you're talking about but I love it and nod my head and go yes I love you and now you're even doing it more in New York but the thing is there's a missing part of this afternoon what I just told you about the context of the situation let's go back to what I was talking about previously is that you're not here which is pretty difficult sometimes however you're coming back in March and we're all going to Golden Plains my face is in a picture frame and I can just wind through it and I love you and I'd vote for Kisha Barry because she wears cowboy boots <laughs> Glen Rock Lagoon. How much fun is that? Pretty fun. You're about to find out. How do you feel, Gavin? I'd vote for Kisha. <laughs> <laughs> Hope, how do you feel? I don't feel motivated. Don't feel motivated. Won't vote but for Kisha. would you vote for Kisha? Yes, I will vote for Kisha. <laughs> Jesse, would you vote for Kisha? No. Nah. That's true. Ingrid, would you vote for Kisha? I don't even know who she is. But if you did know who she was, would you vote for her? If, if she was your best friend, would you vote for her? Oh, great. So, Kisha, that's a yes. We'd all vote for you. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay, so this is where we're uh, out the front of the Labour and Bay in the moment. It's raining. It's very Melbourne-y weather. Uh, and it reminds me that uh, I live in a city that invented coffee, the arts, and the Grand Prix. And that's why I moved to teach you. Like a tag. 